Lucy's all. I was pretty disappointed when the last video remained at a thousand views. That's really sad. I showed the closest view of a planet whizzing by the sun and catching on fire. Yeah, a planet-sized object. This is over the sun, light phenomena, two objects that are side by side for some reason, turning, look like they're on fire or reacting to the atmosphere. Whatever it may be, that's why we call them UAPs, unidentified aerial phenomena. It's light phenomena, right? We're seeing what photonic energy, plasma, who knows, refraction, probably a bit of everything. Uh, this is uh, today's, and uh, I hope you don't mind me showing the sun once in a while. October, because YouTube tells me that everyone hates the sun. But anyways, October 23rd, 2021. Look at the sunspots as compared to yesterday, as I showed you. Look at them growing right on the bottom. And you see the other one on the east-ish side at the same time um, up higher. So this is today's sun at 10, 15 a.m. when I finally got it over the house and I was able to take a look at it from the balcony. And right after that, we we're going to go look at some plasma ejecting from the sun, real plasma, maybe even some plasma clouds ejecting from the sun, which is a rare capture. It's not something that's always easy to capture. You have to be just in the right place your camera off of the sun a little bit to go and capture some light you know me i only show the sun when it's doing something cool and i can show it for two or three minutes every time something like an event like this is happening and again we're analyzing the weather on earth and we're preparing for more bad weather when we see the sun acting up like that We're going to see also daytime UFOs captured with the infrared camera right in the middle of the afternoon, leaving a cloud, an electrical cloud after a solar storm. Check it out. What's that leaving the bottom of the sun? I hope you just saw it. It was pretty quick. And these drone-like objects, which are definitely not birds, okay? Um, sky sticks, <laughs> whatever you want to call them. Here's that plasma ball lifting up off of the sun. Every time there's a solar um, storm or anything, we can capture sometimes some plasma lifting up off of the surface, and that's exactly what we're looking at. So, by the way, it's coming towards us when you think of it. this It's on the bottom side of the sun, and the flares, solar flares and the sunspots are facing Earth, and um, there's dangers for geomagnetic storms. I like capturing them in ways where um, I can get as close as I can to see it an event like this it's fun because you know we don't have big equipment we're not nasa and of course um maybe 
we can assume more than maybe that they know a lot more than me and probably all of us and are just not telling us many things. But they do like amateur astronomers do. They observe. They learn also. Science is a theory. It's an idea. Anyone can learn from it and develop from it. Here's a UFO leaving the surface, yes, of the moon. Looks like it's following the stars. So October 31st, we're the 21st, uh, 4th now, sorry, of October, but on the 31st is Halloween, and this is what I saw on, in 2020 on Halloween night at 11.45. Yeah, sounds made up. It's not, and I'm hoping, hoping to see it once again. Bouncing left and right here on the moon, east side. One light comes towards the surface and illuminates behind it. And right beside it, still many miles away, another light, same shape, similar characteristics, coming down, same thing under what looks like a shield or atmosphere or smoke clouds on the surface. A square over to the left, and the square is really pronounced, and it's always there. And look where the arrow is on top and the lines going over top. All the base lines follow your eye where all the connections go. But seriously, look at the blurry patches. What do you think that is? It's something that's in movement. It could be smokes. They're producing something. They're hiding a surface or vegetation. It's blurry. Here's the daytime UFO. So there's, there is an electrical cloud, a phenomena caused by solar radiation. It was announced in the news. A couple of countries are seeing them more and more this summer. So, well, they saw them, I should say, because summer's over now. So this is a daytime UFO literally leaving a cloud, and it automatically stopped the electrical um, storm or radiation that was inside the cloud. As a theory, this is so interesting because we can ask ourselves, are they refueling themselves inside of the clouds? How could or if it would affect the magnetosphere of earth is this necessarily a bad thing you know or could it be a good thing maybe not bouncing left and right here back on the moon the moon crescent moon very small but but look we could see again just like the light i showed you landing literally under the smoke and hazes on the surface of the moon there's lights going and leaving the moon more and more often i am seeing them this is a rare capture they're hard to see i mean you'd have to sit there all day and hope to see it arriving and then again you have to be half on the moon look you see half on the moon and half off of the moon but it's still a light going down you could say oh it's fuzzy it's blurry it's crap yep that's truth and they're hiding so to see truth, it's not going to be presented to you like a Star Wars movie. You're going to have to open your eyes and your mind, use your common sense, maybe a little bit of research yourself. But these objects coming in that we all say are automatically meteors and asteroids could be UFOs. They would awesome, uh, possibly blend themselves to look like natural asteroids. This object changing directions like a boomerang. Almost looks like there's a tail whipping across from it. Take the time to look at it. They're captures that are rare, but not that rare. But you have to look for them, obviously, if you're not filming the moon, you know. And where is it going? Is it something that's like debris? It could be. But again, debris doesn't change direction like you're seeing right here. Just in the frame, you saw it go into the frame and then leave outside of the frame. And again, look carefully, back it up. You see that whipping tail. Here in Montreal, in the sky, there's a lot of lights. And I'm lucky enough to have had a chance to interact with them. Yes, interact. I talk to the sky. I ask them to do things. I film the sky more and more. This is only um, in the beginning of me trying this the first couple of years, the first two years, 2020 and 2021. And I've made so many amazing videos on them, which are all posted here. Whipping back to the surface of the moon. This is in slow motion, a UFO or a light. Well, it is unidentified flying. No, it's, it's stationary. Imagine it's on the surface of the moon. A light lights up. It's a UFO flaring up, getting ready to leave. And it 
obviously illuminates the entire surface around it many, many miles. Maybe we're seeing it many miles wide, that light, because of the atmosphere. I'll give you that. It's still a UFO. Look, they're leaving the moon. You can literally see them stepping across the moon, stepping like stepping on stepping stones. It's 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 really really weird. This one, one of my favorites, really one of my favorites, and it's also one that was really clear. And again, look where I am with the telescope. Luck. So I was able to zoom in enough to show you exactly what that piece looks like, or should I say, many pieces? I don't know. There it is. That is one of my coolest objects, and this one of course, which is very wide. So no, we can, uh, or should I say, yes, we can rule out that they are not satellites. You know why? It's too big. Satellites are the size of washing machines. What we're seeing here hit the moon is very large, like way bigger than plain large. Whatever it may be, we can see the details of it. Um, here it is. I mean, look, controlled stop here's the fire that comes out at the bottom of the object just two frames before it hits into the moon is it a botched landing look literally okay i'm going to show you straight up just the tail end of this object which is going downwards so we're looking at it like it was coming down towards us it looks like a chess piece a horse chess piece look at literally at the end the flames coming out of something at the end so, whatever you think it is, it's still interesting. Thanks for watching, everyone. Cause the slow's just coming soon Cause the slow's just coming soon